All right. Now we're doing free code camp, responsive web design, learn HTML forms by building a registration form. Step 34. All right. So adding a drop down to the form is easy with the select element. The select element is a container for a group of option elements. And the option elements, pardon me, the option element acts as a label for each drop down option. So both elements require closing tags, okay? Uh, we're gonna start by adding a select element below the two label elements. Then we'll nest five option elements within the select element. Okay. So I think it's good to look this up. Let's look up a uh, select, select element HTML, just like that. And uh, as far as the definition goes, the select element is used to create a dropdown list. So I didn't really say that. Uh, it just pretty much implied it. The select element is most often used in a form to collect user input, okay? Uh, the name attribute is needed to reference the form data after the form is submitted. If we omit the name attribute, no data from the drop-down list will be submitted. So we gotta have a name or it won't be submitted. The ID attribute is needed to associate the drop-down list with a label, okay? So like the for and the ID thing. Uh, the option tags inside the select element define the available options in the drop-down list. And we're always going to add the label tag for best accessibility practices. All right. And while we're at it, we can just look up uh, option right here. And for the definition of this, uh, the option tag defines an option in the select list. Option elements go inside select, opt group, uh, or data list elements for that matter. Uh, also, we're going to note that the option tag can be used without any attributes, but we usually need the value attribute, which indicates that is, pardon me, which indicates what is sent to the server on form submission. All right. And so for the tip, if we have a long list of options, we can group related options with the opt group tag. All right. And come down here. There's all kinds of attributes for, well, there's four attributes for it. And then for examples, we've got uh, inside of the data list, we get the options and we've got these op groups here too, all right? So let's come back over here and uh, put this where it needs to go. So we're gonna start by making the select element right here. So we'll say open select and close select. And then inside here, we're gonna put the option, pardon me, the option elements. So we'll say open option, and then close option. And then we'll take this and copy it and drop it off one, two, three, four times to give us five, right? And so now we've got, where is it? Where is it? Oh, now we've got this right here with the uh, five blank options, right? So let's check the code. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 35 and we'll see you next time.